So, I was uh, removing the support from the print, from the feet, and the uh, the uh, the BD1 feet here, and the the ch chisel broke. You can see the little chisel bit right there. Don't mind all the garbage. But this one is almost fully cleaned up. As you can see, this one is before supports removal. This is after. And if you come over here, you got the, uh, come on, there you go. Can I do it again? Yeah. Working on the next pieces. Which are the legs? Well, the leg bits that attach to here. And... Yeah, I got the first foot all done. And it turned out pretty good. And then I went to the second foot, and everything was coming off way easier. And then I accidentally... Boop. Broke this bit. But... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the parts that I'm printing over here, which, by the way, are printing so crazy fast now that I changed some settings, uh, they should, I think they, like, clip onto here, and then they have to be glued there anyway, so that'll all be fixed. Okay, so, let's see, about 11 hours later... Uh, sorry, 11 hours worth of printing, one dog, maybe an hour and a half, two hours to remove the support material, and four seconds of getting rid of all the stringing, which you can use a heat gun or a lighter, just run the lighter over the, uh, where the strings are, and it'll get rid of it real quick, and that's why you can see some charring and stuff. Uh, and I have my feet, feet all properly destroyed. And see, you can see from the printing uh, if it'll focus. Can I tap to focus? I can. You can see like right there and stuff. There's layer shifts and things. It's kind of ugly, but that doesn't really matter because uh, that's all gonna get filled with filler and it'll be painted over and stuff and you'll never notice it. Now, coming over to this front, you've got the uh, the next leg piece is printing and it's going super fast and looking pretty good. The only problem is I've seen is here it's starting to lift up which normally would be bad but it looks like it's kind of corrected itself, and that's where that's support material anyway. So, oh god, you're just staring at a wall, sorry. <laughs> that's just support material anyway, and that's going to be taken away. So, it should be okay. But only time will tell. This was supposed to take 13 hours? And 48 minutes, I think, to print these two pieces, but I changed some settings around, and uh, now it's only 5 hours and 48 minutes or something like that. So I just cut the time in half, which is awesome, because these feet took, what did I say, 11, 12 hours to print. So, that's good. That drastically changes how quickly I expected to get this done because I thought it was going to be like a hundred hours worth of printing which I did not want to do so this is awesome so I guess I will update you every little step of the way well that print failed I'm reprinting those pieces that failed last time and it's definitely working although it seems to have troubles with uh <laughs> circles they're not the prettiest of curves After this batch, I only have one more batch of prints to do before things can be put together. And until then, I got a bunch of sanding to do. That took like an hour and a half. Now I can start sanding.
in 10 minutes after 82 hours of printing I will finally have the final piece done and then the real work can begin Oi. Yes. 85 in a billion hours. And I finally have the final piece. I don't want to sand. So I printed parts to upgrade my printer. Like belt tensioners and things. And uh, the... Quality in circles has drastically improved. These are the old circles. You can tell how wobbly and whatnot they are. Those are the new circles. They're almost perfect circles. Even though this was printed in this position. <laughs> but even here, you can see, which was printed directly on the flat ground. And if I had sanded that properly, you'd be able to see that it's actually a pretty perfect circle also. So that's good. But the... Uh, tolerances and whatnot. This is supposed to go in here. It's an ear and it kind of doesn't really want to. So I'm gonna have to take my Dremel and shave down the sides of the ear I guess. Okay I put this off for far too long. It's time to get down to business. So these are printed parts Freshly printed. This is the final piece. I still have to remove some of the support material and stuff. And I had to reprint another hip because I somehow lost one before. But these are the printed parts. These are parts that were printed and then I did a, a layer of the primer which didn't fill like I thought it would. So I got some wood filler and I used it to fill the rest of the way. And then I sanded all of it off and it's super smooth now. And then those are going to get another coat of primer eventually. And then I can go into assembly mode. All right. You can see, oh Jesus, with the, the layer lines from the print, because I was printing at huge bad resolution to get the prints done faster and you can't really sand that away and the filler primer didn't fill as much as it should have so you do where is it wood filler and that smooths out real good and then when i sand it'll be even better everything got the peanut butter treatment and i learned that the parts that were unprimed did not want to take the peanut butter at all. And by peanut butter, of course, I mean wood filler. But like the the primed bits soaked it up so much better. That's why some of these just like, like I slopped a bunch of stuff on top. Because hopefully it'll leave enough that when I sand it away, it'll be smooth. So tomorrow I get to do all the sanding and the final prime. And then the next day I'll be able to pay. Paint time. I use hot glue to put it all together. Well, when I ran out of super glue. And now, all that's left is more primer, maybe some more sanding, and paint. And then he's done, but it's standing on its own. Whoosh. Whoosh. Zoosh. Oh, this thing took over a hundred hours to make.
I forgot I got my Ultra Saber Saber yesterday. And now he's being lit by the glorious consular green light. Alright. The main painting is done. Finally. Let me grab the head. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah! I was using this as a stand for the head. But yeah, look at him go! So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside. Look how late it is. Boop. I'm gonna go outside and. Uh, gave him a stripe. I'm gonna go outside and hit him with the clear coat. I'm gonna go with gloss. Oh no, my headphones. And then. Uh, when all that dries, I need to hit that spot again. Then when all that dries, I'm going to weather it, and then he'll look all pretty. What is that, my? What is that? What is that? What are you scared? Why are you scared of it, huh? What is that? I just put on a very heavy coat of clear, and he is looking snappy. This thing might be done today. All I'd have to do is when I get home from work, is weather it and then he'll be done. He's so handsome. <laughs>